Oh, I love weird stuff like this. Hey there, just a quick heads up. My book, The Long Way Home, is now for sale at doozerbook.com. It's about my very first adventure from Honduras to Boulder. All right, thank you, soft piece of ground, and thank you, American Legion, for letting me stay here. Thank you, American Legion Post 853. That was a great spot. Met some really interesting guys and heard a lot of war stories. Ah, here we go. It's a beautiful day to ride in the desert. A little nippy today, that's all right. No crashies, whammy, splatties. I'm not sure where I'm going today. That's pretty much like every day. <laughs> I just get on my bike and ride and figure it out. And you know what, my my butt hurts. I think all the shifting and sliding yesterday on the sand, just trying to stay upright, really did a number on my butt. <laughs> I decided to try charging up my Wahoo bike computer again because yesterday I didn't have it on at all. And what I realized is having the GPS on on my phone all day really sucked my battery dry. So. Even though this thing has been finicky, I'm gonna give it another shot, see if it see if it works today. Maybe it just needed a timeout. This is kind of hilarious. Here's some subtle desert art. It looks like Wiley e. Coyote on the road here and a giant blood stain across the highway. I rode by this really quickly thinking it was real road ki roadkill, but no, it's art. <laughs> a little morbid, but uh, put a smile on my face. I already ate this morning, like 45 minutes ago, but I can't pass this up. Look at this gigantic bean burrito from Los Gilbertos. I'm excited. And check it out. While I was sitting here eating my burrito, I found a heads up lucky penny. It's going to be a good day. Now I'm officially bean powered. Let's go do this. So I am this blue dot right there, and I have the choice of going down here. This is all off-road, a desert wash, and popping back out. That's what it looks like. Yay, oh fun. Or I can just stay on this really nice, quiet highway and skip all that. And this somewhat seemingly short desert wash section is 15 miles. Doesn't seem like a lot, right? 
But remember, yesterday it took me almost six hours to go 20 miles in a desert wash. So I'm gonna stick to the road, it's nice and quiet. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that decision. <laughs> My legs are tired, I'm gonna give them a break. Shoot! I just noticed that my Wahoo went black. I had high hopes that maybe it was gonna, I don't know, work out. But no, it was fully charged. It's only lasted three hours and it's dead again. That's the last I used this thing. Well, I guess the, the positive is it's one less thing to charge at nighttime. <laughs> but I'll be re relying completely on my phone now, which is okay. So if I had taken the road, I would have popped out right here. I've only been riding for about 45 minutes. So I definitely took the expressway. This would have taken hours and hours. So I'm rolling into the little town of Salton Sea. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but I noticed this road sign right here, and it put a big smile on my face. Rockstar and wild thing. That's pretty awesome, pretty rad. Someday, maybe I'd like to live at the junction point of rockstar and wild thing, and this is what the road looks like. It looks like kind of cookie cutter America. Wonder how many rock stars live there. I just stopped at this mega gas station. Look at all the stuff they have. They have Cinnabon, Pizza Hut, KFC, Yogurt Land, Taco Bell. What? They have it all. But you know what I got here? My favorite Mexican cookies, the Principes. I bought these all the time when I lived in Honduras and when I traveled through Mexico. I love these so much. I just filled up all my water bottles. I'm good to go and I'm going to be riding on this busy highway here for a second hopefully there's a nice shoulder because it looks a little rowdy it is the Friday before Thanksgiving break so I think a lot of people are out here with their off-road vehicles you can tell this is an off-road haven right here Cameron Steele must be the Michael Jordan of the off-road world I'm on this rowdy highway for a bit. Luckily I have a nice wide shoulder. Hopefully the cars are respectful. I'm heading down towards a town called Westmoreland and I hear they have amazing shakes made out of dates. So let's boogie, 30 miles away on this thing. This thing being the highway. I'm smiling to myself right now. Yesterday, about three hours into the wash, I was excited to get to the pavement and hit some easy miles. And now today, after about 35 miles of pavement, I'm begging for dirt. <laughs> you know, I'm really grateful that I'm pounding out some miles quickly, but this road is a little nuts. It's not dangerous. I feel safe because the shoulder's so wide, but it's just so loud when these trucks go by my left ear and it's pretty constant right now we have a good window where there's no cars but man it's a lot but that's all right it's all part of the adventure got to get from a to b somehow and every now and then you got to link yourself up with some highways right the grass is always greener <laughs> but i have to say Overall, I definitely like dirt more, no matter how hard the dirt is, it's better than being on a rowdy highway. All right.
right, I made it to the Date Shake capital, west of the Mississippi, no less. And I'm really excited about this. There's not a whole lot in this town. It's kind of a highway town, looks a little beat up, but they certainly are proud of their dates. This is definitely the place to come to get all your date related products. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. Look at it all. Everything is dates. Dates, 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 dates. Looks like they have chocolate covered dates. We've got honey dates right here, regular old dates. And just in case you need some interesting plates, they have those too. You gotta eat your dates in style. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm very excited to try this thing. I haven't had a date shake actually since I was in Baja in the little town of San Ignacio, an oasis town. There's all date palms all over this area. And so we're not far from Baja, so it makes sense that they also have date related products. It is so good. It really is fantastic. Mm. It's not the most romantic place to be eating a date shake with the sound of semis rolling by, but this is pretty awesome. And you know dates, they keep you regular. Okay, here we've got reasons to eat dates. Hangovers help in sobering up real quick. Vision, when ingested orally, it reduces night blindness. How else are you gonna ingest a date? <laughs> And what is night blindness? Digestion, cancer, energy, look at that, increases sexual stamina, weight loss, intake with cucumber paste aids in weight management. So only if you eat it with <laughs> cucumber paste. This is so funny. That was a great stop. I'm all full of date shakes. I filled up all my water and I'm heading towards Slab City a place that I'm very, very intrigued by. There's lots of interesting art there, Salvation Mountain. I don't know if I'll get there today. It's about 30 miles away and it's 1.30 p.m., maybe. It feels like summertime out here. It's very warm and there's lush fields. I think of alfalfa being grown. Yeah, and what I'm most grateful for right now is the peace and silence. Not many cars on this road. And right now I'm heading straight toward the Salton Sea. I am kind of close now to the Salton Sea. Back in the day, it used to be big and it probably came all the way up to right about here. This area is an interesting story. In 1905, it flooded and it was a beautiful sea. And then developers were like, oh, this is cool. We're gonna build up a Riviera and this is gonna be a place for all the Hollywood, you know, big money people to come and, and live a luxurious life. And I think that happened for a time, but you know, the water <laughs> has been receding and receding and receding and there's not much of a sea left just a tiny tiny bit and i'm standing now at the sunny bono wildlife refuge yes the sunny of sunny and Cher. i guess Cher was from near here el centro which is very close and sunny came here and visited loved it all the birds were amazing and he's like someday when i become congressman i'm gonna make this a national wildlife refuge <laughs> and that's what he did and it is it's a refuge now which is really cool and uh, I'm really just enjoying hanging out right here after that wild highway. I think I'm deaf in this ear. <laughs> All right, it's 3 p.m. The sun over there is going down and I need to start looking for a place to camp. And it's not gonna be at this factory, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, thank you. All right, I'm gonna go off route by about two and a half miles. My Google Maps tells me there's a campground down here called Red Hill Marina. I hope it's true, otherwise that will be a, a five mile detour. <laughs> so this campsite is a ghost town. 
Obviously there's RVs, but there are no humans. Not very inviting, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so this is the ranger's office, I guess. Wow, this is spooky. Hello? Weird. I've never seen it like an abandoned campsite. <laughs> Look at this bathroom. Um, hmm. Yeah. I don't think I want to stay here. I'm sure I could hide myself out here and camp, but I really don't like the vibe at all. It's spooky for sure. All right, well, we'll keep on moving. This is like a set out of Walking Dead. It's like the zombies came through and ate everybody and left their RVs behind. Uh, that didn't work out back there, but I'm confident something else will. I mean, something has to work out, right? I'm gonna sleep somewhere. I just don't know where right now. <laughs> I guess in a serious pinch, I could camp out here, but farm fields are kind of no-nos and you're super exposed. So that would be a last, last resort. I have faith there'll, there'll be something up here in one of these little towns. Shadow, go! You got this! Still got sunlight. I'm still cruising. <laughs> Just give me a few extra minutes today, buddy. You see that right there? That's my room. I haven't even gone in yet. I'm not expecting a whole lot, but I am exhausted. And I saw on Google Maps that there was an RV park I went by. It looked like a junkyard. I don't know what it is with these desert <laughs> camping spots, but they're all pretty junky. I'm just excited to uh, have a safe place to stay. And it's right there in room number three in Nyland, California. And literally 20 feet outside my door is a Mexican restaurant. And look at I got a burrito. I'm so happy. See that? That's my second burrito. I already ate one. Two burritos down. And I didn't even shower. I just dropped my bike and walked straight over here. I was starving. <laughs> and now, <sighs> feeling really good. It's a nice feeling to like have a safe place to stay, you know? Hotels definitely add up in price. And I personally like camping more. It's it's more of a wild experience than sleeping under the stars, but I'm pretty happy with this too. Gracias, amigo. Chocala. Nos vemos. Hasta la próxima vez. Gracias. Los mejores burritos del mundo. Aquí, hombre. Nyland, California. Gracias, hombre. Oh, and look, there's a sunset now. Woo! All right, I'm going to show you what $75 buys you in small town America. This is my room. Pretty cozy. I just washed my clothes in the sink and they're drying there on the air conditioner. We have the bathroom over here. This is the, this is the shower. You know, luckily it had some hot water, but uh, that's the shower, sink, toilet. I think there's enough room for the door to clear between the bed. Oh yeah, just barely. Beggars can't be choosers, right? I'm warm and cozy and clean, and I got to eat some warm food and go grocery shopping. Got some resupplies right here. Yum, 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 yum. And the adventure has been amazing and will continue to be so. Oh, and look, one out of four light bulbs works. I was just going through all the photos of today in my phone, all the photos of the whole trip, actually. It has been incredible and uh, I'm happy, also happy to be in a nice warm bed that I don't have to blow up every couple hours. <laughs>
Oh yeah, today I cruised because it was all on pavement. Makes a big difference. Tomorrow I'll hit some more dirt. But I'm most looking forward to Slab City and all the funky art. It's going to be awesome. Buenas noches.